Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Kfir from DSM and I'd like to introduce you today to the new feature that we just launched, the auto orders system. The idea of the auto orders is to automate another step in the dropshipping process and if until today you used the, uh, the DSM Chromebot to semi-automate your orders, now it's done, com done completely automatically. You don't need to touch anymore the computer. Um, and all your orders from Amazon and Walmart will be processed automatically. So, three things we're going to discuss today. First, how to set it up. Second, how to troubleshoot zip code issues. And third, how to troubleshoot confirmation code issues. Let's go one by one. I'll try to make it as short as possible. And thank you for joining me. So, you reach the uh, orders uh, page from the sales and orders page. By the way, it used to be called sales and profits and now we have orders, so it's sales and orders. You'll see two tabs on the top uh, left corner. Go to the auto order tab and you can, it's very, it, it is recommended to watch the uh, auto orders tutorial here. Uh, it will give you some aspects that I, I'm not going to talk about in this video. So watch it, it's important and it's also a cool video. Um, if you want to activate the auto order, simply click on the green button next to auto order items and you here you activate the auto orders. So how does it work? Uh, you need to preload balance into your auto orders account. Now we in DSM believe that your business management should be, you should have control over your expenses and therefore there are other reprisers that will, uh, that has an automatic orders uh, option and they will let you they will give you um, one level, like one fixed price for all the orders. Uh, we don't believe in that. We believe that you should have a, an escalation and the, the price should go down. So you preload your account with orders and it starts with 40 cents and you can see how it goes down to 20 cents. That half, that's half the price if you load uh, more uh, orders. More than that, uh, it doesn't say it here yet and I hope that we will uh, add it in here soon. But actually, if you purchase uh, 300 or more orders, you are getting not only automatic orders, but also automatic tracking number updating and automatic feedback request from your customer. How is it done? Via a third party supplier that we're working with called Chili Tracker. When you buy um, 300 orders, you get one month of Chili Tracker for free. 1000 orders is two months, 2500 is three months and 5000 uh, orders are four months of usage uh, of Chili Tracker that will automate uh, the tracking number updating from all of our suppliers, not only Amazon and Walmart, um, and will send a feedback request for every sale that you make, which will make your your feedbacks jump like crazy. So if you do order one of those packages, just contact us through the support system, and we will supply you with your uh, Chili Tracker um, account. Okay. So you did, once you load, once you choose which package you want, let's choose here the 5,000, you can uh, click on buy orders credit and you will be redirected to PayPal and you can uh, purchase the, the orders and then you will see it here in your balance. Uh, um, let's move on, let's set up an account, it's very very easy, all you have to do is to choose your account from either Amazon.com, Walmart.com or Amazon UK. If you're choosing Amazon, Germany, France or Canada, uh, please first contact us because we need to make sure that it's working we don't have uh, many users that at the moment uses the auto orders there so we have you, please contact us and the rest of the suppliers are not yet supported so it's something that you should know but in the future they will be supported you click on create i'll share the form that uh, is being that you see when you create a new account it's very simple once you edit you will see that your account appears here as one of the uh, accounts you can edit it or delete it if you want so let's edit an account for an example, my Amazon account. I have the username of the Amazon account. It's the, um, it's the username that I use when I log into Amazon to purchase items. I have the password for it. And I have here a gift card alert. We, uh, the auto order systems works with gift cards. We do not yet support um, purchases with uh, credit cards. It will be supported in the future, but at the moment it is not supported. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it, it already is supported because you're watching it in the future. 
But um, so for now, you can purchase gift cards and, and load them to your account that we will and we will use the gift cards to complete the purchase. And here you can set a gift card alert. So if the gift card balance goes below that number, below $50 in my case, I get an email alert. Um, gift message is what you know, uh, it's only for Amazon. Um, it's what you know as a gift message that you can add. We mark it for you as a gift. Um, so you can add either a message or just leave it blank. I usually like to leave it blank. And zip code is a troubleshooting that I'm going to talk about in a second. So once you click update, your account is ready. You have balance of orders. You have an account that is connected. Your upcoming um, orders will be done automatically. You don't need, you can sit back and relax. Um, one, one important thing, watch the other video that I talked about because it does show you the difference when uh, an, an order fails or etc. and what are the different statuses of orders. So you will know uh, how to deal with that. I'm not gonna go over it in this video. So, um, okay, so that's the part one. Let's move on to part two real quick. The zip code, what's the idea of the zip code? From time to time we get an uh, the auto order might fail and it might fail because Amazon suspects that it's not you. It's a hacker that tries to hack into your account and it wants to verify that it is you. So it asks you to um, to put in the zip code of your billing address. I want to show you where can you find it. You go to your account in Amazon, you just click on your account and then you go to payment options. You might have to log in, of course. And then under your credit card and debit cards, you have your card and you also have the billing address. In that billing address, you will find the uh, zip code, copy it and paste it in here. And then when our system goes and has the issue that, that it's being asked to enter the zip code, it will have the zip code to enter it. That is troubleshooting number one. Make sure you, you do these settings before you even activate the auto order system. Uh, I mean like when you activate the auto order system, so you will prevent those uh, failed orders. Uh, another step that you cannot prevent ahead, I want to explain, is when uh, Amazon is sending a security key to your email and you can find a guide step by step. I'm going to go over that guide together with you right now just to explain it, but it's quite a simple guide. You can find it in the help center um, under uh, sales and profits. It actually should be sales and orders. It's uh, We need to change it. Uh, you will find a um, troubleshooting guide, Amazon security key sent to your email. I'll go over it very simply. From time to time, you might have, like if you have a, an order that uh, says it's you have your order failed um, and you see inside in every failed order, we show you a screenshot of the last thing that happened. And this is what you see in the screenshot. They want to verify, so they send, look what they say. We've sent a code to your email, please enter it below. Uh, and then you need to enter it here, but our automatic system doesn't know how to, doesn't know what's the code, it's in your email box. So what you want to do is you want to create an auto forwarding from your email account to our bot. So actually when you get that email to your email account, it will be automatically sent to DSM bot that will automatically put it in uh, Amazon and process the order so the order will not fail. Now, why can't you set it up ahead before you even start um, using the auto orders? Because you'll see on the way you have to actually use that email that you got from Amazon and set automatic sense to this kind of emails. You'll see it in a moment. So uh, it, the, actually this guide goes step by step. I, I was adding here pictures of all the steps. I'll show it to you very quickly. You go to Gmail, it shows, it only works with Gmail, so make sure uh, you have a Gmail account set, set up. You go to uh, Gmail settings, it's on the top right corner, you have settings, and then you have all those tabs and you go to forwarding and pop an AMAP and you click add forwarding address. You enter this address, Amazon at mail.dsmtool.com and you click next. You can also copy it from here. You have it here, you just copy and paste it. And then um, they just ask you to proceed. So you click proceed and it will show you this message. It will show you verify Amazon, uh, Amazon at mail.dsm.com uh, email and it will ask you to put like a code in here. This code uh, will be sent to you automatically 
from us. We will send you a new email. You will get this DSM notification Gmail forwarding token ID email and you will have the, the code down here. Take that code, go back to the settings, go back to forwarding pop and AMAP, put it here and click verify. Now you are able to out of forward messages to DSM. It doesn't mean that you're going to forward all your messages. Make sure that you still do not forward. Make sure it's disabled on forwarding. Don't forward all your mailbox to us. We don't need it. Thank you. Just find that email and this is how it looks. Sorry, it's, a, it's quite a small image and you probably can't see it. Just go into the garden and see it. You'll see that email that Amazon sent you with that confirmation code. Remember, that's what I told you, that they're looking for the confirmation code up here. So they send it over email. Well, this is how the email looks like and you're gonna see it in your mailbox. And then you're gonna click here on the top right corner of the mail on that drop down, and you're gonna click filter messages like this. And you're gonna create a filter by, you had to see that it's from account update at amazon.com and you click create a filter with this search. And in the next window, uh, you're going to click forward it to Amazon at mail.dsm.tool.com and you're going to click create filter. And what's going to happen now is that when our automatic bot goes to Amazon and gets this message, Amazon sends an email to your mailbox. Your mailbox out of forwards that email to our bot. Our bot reads that email, knows what number to put here and can continue and then your orders doesn't fail. So that was setting up and troubleshooting the auto orders. All that is left for you now is to sit back, relax, enjoy and sell more. Thank you for joining me today. See you in the next